FTP Software was a software company incorporated in 1986 by James Van Bockelen, John Romke, co-author of the MIT PC IP package, Nancy Connor, Roxanne Van Bockelen, Nay Ritchie, Dave Bridgham, and several other founding shareholders. Their main product was PC TCP, a full-featured, standards-compliant TCP IP package for DOS. Origins The core open source software was developed at MIT starting in 1982 as the PC IP project, a project to make PCs into first class citizens on TCP IP networks. This project began as a telnet implemented by Louis J. Konopelsky under the supervision of Jerome Saltzer. Later contributors to the PC IP project included John Romke, David Bridgham, David D. Clark, and Donald W. Gillies. FTP Software was the first of many companies to name themselves after an Internet protocol. At the time the company was founded, the PC IP software package was already being sold by Wollongong, 3Com, and others, and so some of the inventors of PC IP decided to exploit their own product. The original PC IP package contained a specialized TCP used only by its Telnet client, written by David D. Clark. It also contained Ping, Fortune, Time, and a TFTP protocol client. After Donald W. Gillies produced a full-function multi-connection TCP and compatible SMTP for his bachelor's thesis, a mail proxy, it became possible to offer an FTP implementation, which requires two concurrent TCPs. This software, known as NTCP, new TCP in the source tree, could support seven connections on a 128 kilobytes IBM PCXT, and could interoperate with ten different operating systems. The multi-connection TCP languished in the source tree for two years before the FTP founders chose to make it the core of FTP software, setting the company apart from the other competitors in this space, which were not actively improving PC, IP and were not willing to implement the FTP protocol based upon NTCP. Fate. Initially PC, TCP's protocol stacks and network interface drivers were linked into individual application executables, as with PC, IP. By 1990 all PC, TCP applications shared a TSR kernel, which itself initially used built-in network interface drivers. By 1991, John Romke's TSR PC, TCP packet driver specification had largely replaced the built in drivers. The company had a good run, with a valuation of over $1 billion at one point, but suffered greatly from both internal and external pressures. It had grown rapidly and repeatedly moved physically farther away from its roots at MIT. The founders, though technically adept, were inexperienced as managers. They suffered from infighting, epitomized in a public divorce between two of the founders. The company went public in 1994, and maintained profitable growth through 1995, as a dominant supplier of TCP stacks for x86-based machines. When Microsoft included a TCP stack at no extra cost in Windows 95 as has become standard with all operating systems, FTP lost a significant revenue source. Due to management which by that time was mostly non-founders failing to adequately prepare for the transition into supplying network using applications, FTP was not able meet Wall Street's expectations and its stock price declined sharply. In May 1996 FTP Software announced it was providing Microsoft with various technology for Internet Explorer 2.0 for Windows 3.1, including a PPP network, 16-bit email client, and other technology. In 1998 FTP was bought out by former rival NetManage. The deal was controversial, with some shareholders claiming it was not in their interest since the sale price was less than the amount in FTP's bank account. Topic: <laughs> Comparison with other products. An extensive history of TCP on personal computers was published in 1998 by Stephen Baker for Unix Review. Topic: 
Topic: Products. Interdrive. Onet. Landwatch. PC Bind. PC TCP. SNMP Tools. Win SNMP. Topic. See also. Packet driver Crinware software